The Oakland 221 Full Court Press. Um, let's talk about design. Why are we doing this? We're a high tempo team. Why would we go to a 221 press? Well, the shot clock. The, the advent of the 30 second shot clock is going to add more possessions to the game. So we, we don't need to force pressure to add more possessions. Now, the defensive DER, the points per possession, how many points we're giving up per possession, really, really is going to come into play. We believe that by pressing that we can slow the offensive team down in a shot clock situation where if we can make them take eight seconds to get the ball across the timeline, they're down to 22. If, if, they, if a guy here receives the basketball that's not a point guard or not a guy that starts their offense, he's going to then have to get it to the guy that starts their offense, and now we're down to 18. Now you've got 18 seconds left to run your offense. Depending on what that team does to their offense, if we can take the first option away, they're down to 10 seconds. What are they going to do? They're going to ball screen. So now if our ball screen defense is great, we're going to be a good defensive team. That's the philosophy of this press. That's what I've told our players. What we're going to be able to do, though, is as the game goes on, we're going to be able to add pressure, and we're going to be able to speed the game out, up out of this press. But the first 10, 12, 14 minutes of the game, we want the other team to, to settle in. This is the way to beat it, take our time and get it across. Then as the game goes on, if I've got superior athletes, I can now turn and face check this. I can change the trapping in it. I can turn it into a high speed press. And that's really what we want. We want the ability to do that. So basically this is our press. We're gonna funnel the ball up the sideline. This man's been told you can't get beat to the middle. We're going to take this defender, if the ball is here, we're going to take this defender and bring him there so that we're right, it's two on one. Now the rule is this. This is the trapping area right here. This is the area that we want to get the trap. If the ball is dribbled into that trap box, the trap is going to come from these two guys. If it's dribbled into that box, if it's passed into that box, we're going to trap with these two guys. Okay? So let's look at the scenario. The ball is dribbled, I'm here on him. And we're trying to teach them that as we get to this line of where this imaginary box is, I'm gonna sprint and get to here, which is gonna make this guy either cross over or turn around. So this guy has got to sprint and come for the trap. We've gotta almost get foot to foot. If they, if they come and turn around and go backwards, we've done a good job. If they pick their up, dribble up, we've done a great job. If they can split this, we've done a job and we're in trouble. Okay? So that's what we want. This, this, this defender to sprint and get his foot on the baseline. This defender to sprint and come in foot to foot and make that trap right there like that. 